All right, hello and welcome back to TCG Live. I have three pre-release promo packs here that I will be opening and we will see what we pull from here. What can you pull from these packs? Obviously, these are from the pre-release kits that you get in pre-release and they also come with six boosters that I will be opening as well in the end of the video just to get some more coins. But let's start with the pre-release packs. For some reason, there's one of them with some black stuff here on the bottom. I don't know why that is, but um, I guess it doesn't really make a difference. In the end, so these pre promo packs come with an arena code that I'm not going to be showing here and a promo card. So the promo cards will be different each time and they have the stamp here. So let's see what value we can pull from these packs here. Hired Claw. Um, I also opened a few more of these pre-release packs that I will be showing you guys in the summary in the end. Quickly through my Google Sheet. So Hired Claw wasn't really worth anything. Actually, let me... I have to, all right, two bucks for the promo version. Obviously I have to turn the, in the scan of the pro version on. And we got Kidnap. I pulled this Kidnap quite often already. The promo version is 72 cents. And the last pack. So what I noticed with these previous packs from Bloomborough is there's really nothing that you can pull from here. I don't remember pulling anything valuable from these packs. Uh, the arena codes are also a dollar each, so I guess that adds, adds a little bit. Iridescent Vine Slasher, that's actually very cool. This is an expensive card and um, the promo version should be valued even higher. And look at the foiling, the foiling looks so much better than on the from the collector booster packs. All right, Iridescent Vine Slasher, that's actually a good pull. Promo version, three bucks fifty nine. All right, that was a good pull, but actually not that high either. So yeah. You get one promo card, usually it's not going to be worth that much, especially from Bloomboro, where rarely any rare is worth anything. All right, I'll be quickly opening all of these booster packs and then um, fast forward it. All right, so I opened 18 booster packs and we have all the comments here, all the uncomments, we're going to go really through them. Um, a few uh, foils here, the basic lands, some of them also foil, pretty cool. Uh, tokens and art cards and all the other junk and then we have the rares here yeah, and I took the freedom to already pre-sort them so any valuable cards on top I'm not gonna scan all of them let's scan Dragonhawk $4.43 Season of Burrow $3.27 Caretaker's Talent and another Caretaker's Talent Come on. No, obviously. I'll just put it to two. I hope you saw. Uh, the scan doesn't recognize it if I just scanned it. And Sunspine Links is already um, below a dollar, 89 cents. So all of these other cards are already below a dollar. They're not really sellable on card market. And yeah, <laughs> I paid 90 euros for these pre release kits. Um, actually, a little bit less, maybe 80 euros. But yeah, still. And it's around $85, $90. And we made back $24. These are really poor as usual with Bloomboro, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I will still make a few bucks here and there with the arena codes. But that was it. Uh, also, what I wanted to say is all the prices are based on card market. And I'll be back with a summary quickly. But before that, um, I'll be doing a giveaway for Dusk Morn. Check out the affiliate link in the description to Games Island. Games Island is sending me free swag. If you want to buy some Dusk more, maybe buy it um, from Games Island. Would really appreciate it. Also, what I wanted to ask you guys, since I, since this video is probably only gonna be watched by subscribers, do you guys remember this playmat here with the world map? And if yes, uh, what do you prefer? Since you had already a little bit time to get used to this playmat, maybe do you prefer the old one? Maybe the new one? I'm wondering. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in a second in the summary. All right, let's check out the Google Sheet and it's as bad as you saw in the video. So this is the first bundle here that we opened today. Four cards, sellable totaling to 18 euros 45 very low second bundle 15 euros even lower also only four cards that are sellable this one was the best one yeah but uh, still not 
quite the amount that I paid for the bundle, 30, 30 euros for this one. Um, and the last one, the worst one, 11 euros. I actually sold the value rod collar. You can sell them for a euro if you filled out correctly for German sellers, English card. But yeah, that's a total of 75 euros, so not even 100 euros, which means I lost 105 euros on these four bundles. Oh boy, I am glad I'm <laughs> done with these bundles that I don't have anymore. That was the last four that I still had laying around. So yeah, uh, I'm opening them so you don't have to. So um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying bundles if you uh, care about the value that you get from the packs in here. I would actually recommend collector booster packs for the first time in my life. Uh, Bloomboro collector boosters are not too bad, not too bad. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I want to say a big thank you to my idea of Patreons. Alec, Vondrasek, Jonas B, Sebastian, Bert Houses, Scusi, George Complido, uh, Crystal Nord, Galaxy, and the Devils. Thank you very much for supporting me. And see you next time. Peace out, guys.